Now there's just something to be said about waking up in a backwoods cabin and cooking your breakfast with antique ironware. I guess you could say there's just a certain zen to it. This waffle iron's about the same vintage as this stove, and I can't help but wonder if the two ever crossed paths back when they were both shiny and new. They've been serving their purpose for a good 90 years and still in perfect work in order. Now it just goes to show there's no need of electrifying and computerizing everything. Less equals more in many ways. No cabin work today. I needed a day off and there's nothing quite like a trek through God's creation to ease the mind. A beautiful day calls for beautiful surroundings and we found some. Now look at this nugget here. Just a little token left over from the ice age. Once upon a time it was carried here by glaciers and deposited on this ridge when the ice melted away. What a peaceful place to be laid to rest. If only I could be so fortunate when I reached the end of my journey. When we hiked over to the next ridge, I couldn't help but marvel over the immensity of the forests that surrounded us. I took my own advice this morning just to follow my heart and this is where it led me. Not bad advice for the day, even if I do say so myself. One more stone in the stack and we'll be on our way. Well, today's journey has certainly been therapeutic. My internal compass has been reset and I am very contented in my soul today. We cut over to another trail where I built a cairn last year and it looks like we just missed lunch. You never know what you're going to find out here. Look at this here. I come to see my cairn that I built and something was having a little blue jay snack here. I wasn't far behind it. Look at that. Must have been a hawk, I guess. Caught himself a blue jay. And uh, had a little snack here. Right here where I have my little stack of stones from last year and it kind of looks like maybe somebody added a stone to it but i'm not sure now i don't make these and use them as trail markers they're not marking anything significant uh, i i put them along my path and then when i pass through again and i see that they're still standing they make me smile and like i said before in my other videos i like to do stuff that makes me happy and uh Something like this, simple as this, makes me happy. Uh, I come through and I see that they've standed the test of time or somebody has passed along the way and added to it. It makes me smile. So smiling is a good thing. So when I come back through, I will add uh, another stone to it. <laughs> I came across another old foundation, one I've never seen before, and these old homesteads always make me dreamy. A few centuries ago, some settler stumbled across this spot like I have today. He dug himself in, called it home, and for that, I am envious. I can't help but wonder what his name was and what his house looked like, and if he had a wife and how many children he had, or if he had a dog and what breed it might have been. Old Frankie likes this spot as much as I do, and he'd live here just as long as there was a well-stocked cookie jar in the place. The old boy likes his snack time, and he's not at all bashful about voicing his opinion on the matter. <laughs> this little thing here, this little scene with the thermometer, it's a little advertisement for a furniture store. This thing has been hanging in the camp my whole life. Probably been hanging here since the camp was originally built back in the 50s. And you look at the telephone number 2 0141. It's got five digits in it. I mean, that was a long time ago. 
Now ah, that phone number with five digits in it, that just cracks me up. Just goes to show uh, how small the population was in those days as compared to what it is now. Yeah, just one of those little treasures that's been hanging in the cabin here all my life. It's kind of neat. This old car here. It's been in the woods here all my life. Used to play with this when I was a kid. Playing Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> Shot it full of holes, too. <laughs> yeah. Well, several years ago, I started a drawing with this old car in it. I had put a family of foxes, like as if they were denning beneath the car. I had the little puppies tussling in the foreground there. The mother off to the side watching over them. I had put in some other antique cars and I put a barn in the background. I had a lot of hours in it and it's been sitting in my notepad for well, over a decade I guess now. I, uh, I doubt I'll ever finish it but who knows maybe someday when I'm holed up at the cabin here in the winter time I might take it out and peck away at it but it's hard to say. But maybe I should before this old car here just rust in the ground and disappears entirely. <laughs> what? What do you want? What's the matter? Show Daddy what you want. You know what you want? That's what you want, the bat box? Is that what you want, the bat box? <laughs> Show Daddy what you want. He wants his bat box. <laughs> Help! Help! <laughs>